In this example, we're going to show how easy it is to create a 3D surface using a route and a mesh object. In this case, we're, bring, we're going to bring in an STL file. And this is going to be an STL file from a pro, program like VectorArt 3D. And they produce a, a series of, of 3D models that can be easily imported and incorporated into any sign or type of millwork. This is a, a model of an eagle, and what we're going to do here is, is select this part. Well, this was created in millimeters, so uh, I'm going to bring this down into a, a different size part here that I'm going to use in route. Using the precision input center, right? Okay. Now we can close this, center this selected part in the material, and now we'll zoom down here to the material. So uh, here we're working with a, a 3D object, and this is resting right on top of the plate. I'm going to just zoom on this from the side view and the, and the right view so we can see this. All right, now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a 2D object that's going to become our relief, and we'll just draw a simple rectangle in this, in this shape. And we're going to come here and create a flat, no thickness, relief. And we'll hit apply. And if it's a smaller shape, I might want to increase my resolution a little bit. But this shape's a little bit bigger, so we should be all right with 50. Now I'm going to select both my mesh object and my relief. I'm going to hit the apply mesh to relief button. I'm going to add this on to my existing relief. And I'll hit apply. Once everything's done, I can close this. And now I'm just going to view the the uh, object in the current relief, uh, in the current layer, which is our, our relief here. And we can see that uh, we've taken this 3D mess object and we've applied it to our, our uh, relief to create a 3D surface of an eagle. Now I'm going to select this shape and using the Extract Slices button, we can click on the border here, and it'll say define a slice parameter, and hit the OK button. We're going to have the bottom be at zero, the top be at the top part of the relief, and we'll hit the check mark. Everything that was a zero thickness background will be cut away, and we can actually get rid of this part. And now we have an, an outline of this 3D shape. We're ready to put this into the material. Uh, here I'll come and I'll make my plate the same size as the material. Now I'm going to make my relief fit inside the plate. So it's actually going to move it down into the material and be the same thickness as a plate. And now I'm ready to create my toolpath. So this is a demonstration of how easy it is to import a 3D mesh aisle, mesh object, create a 3D surface, and, and then position it in the material to cut it.